The state of California is once again outright defying the Supreme Court and also the Second Amendment. The state of California is now pushing to pass a statewide firearms registration of every single firearm that you own, along with an annual fee that you will have to pay every single year to maintain the legal possession of those firearms, which are legal for you to own. But now you're going to have to pay a tax to have them. So let's talk about what is now happening with this new bill. Now, before we jump into the video, I wanna ask you guys for a huge favor. We have released the first episode of the Liberty Lounge podcast. I will leave a link down below to the details section in the pinned comment where you can find it on YouTube and then also all audio formats, Spotify and Apple podcast. I would love your guys' support with the podcast. Please go over there, subscribe, watch the video, and then follow over on the audio formats, leave reviews and all that. We have a lot of insane and really fun interviews that are set up, uh, big YouTubers, gun tubers, and then also a lot of other personalities outside of the gun space like UFC fighters, political figures, etc. So it's going to be a really fun podcast different type of content, but also similar in some ways. So again, would love your guys' support and you can find it using the links down below. As I mentioned in the intro, in this video, we have to talk about a new horrible bill that is being pushed for in the state of California. If California gun control was not bad enough, if we didn't already have an insane amount of gun control bills and laws that are in place, we now have a new bill that aims to force statewide registration of every single firearm that you own, that everybody owns, and also it seeks to make you have to pay a yearly fee for having those firearms and to legally maintain your possession of them going forward. Not only does this bill force an unconstitutional registration requirement, but it also makes you pay a yearly fee to exercise your second amendment rights. The bill we're gonna be breaking down in this video is SB 1160, which was introduced by Anthony Portantino. You may recall that name because he is the same rabid anti-gun senator in the state of California that was responsible for SB2. And if you don't remember what SB2 is, that is the new California law that was put in place, which essentially bans concealed carry everywhere in the state. SB2 is the concealed carry ban that was passed in response to the Supreme Court's Bruin decision. And that is also the law that is being challenged in the lawsuit that I'm a part of, that I'm a plaintiff in with Rio May, that is now also in front of the Ninth Circuit that is filed by CRPA. So Parentino is the same senator that got that bill passed and now he is trying his hand at a new law. He's also the same anti-gunner that went on TV saying that under SB2, you would only be able to concealed carry on sidewalks and that's a good thing. And then he also said, you don't need to bring guns to games. All you need is orange slices. So he's that insane anti-gunner that's made those comments. He's very anti-gun. He's probably in bed with every town and you know Giffords and all these anti-gun groups. He's do, he does Newsom's bidding. He does Rob Bonta's bidding. And now he's introduced a new bill. So let's break down what this insane bill does. And then we need to talk about what we need to do in California and then also people outside of the state of California to stop this bill. The summary of the bill states that existing law requires the sale or transfer of any farm to be processed through a licensed farms dealer. Existing law requires a licensed farms dealer to record specified information regarding each farm sale or transfer and to submit that information to the Department of Justice. Existing law requires the Department of Justice to maintain, keep, and maintain this and other specified information relating to farms within the state. Now, I want to stop here because this is important. What this section is stating, kind of glazing over, is that here in the state of California, there is already laws that require every farm that is purchased or transferred to go through an FFL, including private party transfers, and even now with their new uh, precursor parts or their ghost gun ban in California, all of those have to go through an FFL, and those farms that you are in possession of or come into possession of are then registered with the California Department of Justice. They have multiple systems in place like the CFARS and the CRIS system. And there's a bunch of other systems already in the state of California that have identifiers of your possession of certain farms. Now, there are some laws that didn't get enacted until recent years. So there are some gaps in that type of language in the registration of certain firearms. And that's kind of what they're trying to plug here with this bill by trying to wrap in and identify every single firearm that is brought into the state of California, that is possessed in the state of California. They're trying to identify all of those firearms that are lawfully owned so they know what you have, who has them, and then maybe take action based on that. 
Keep in mind that we also have a bunch of other things in place in the state of California with like our assault weapon registration. And then if you're out of state and you come into the state of California, you have to register and identify those firearms with the state of California. And then even with our CCW permitting system, you have to identify which firearms you're going to have and concealed carry. So again, there are multiple different laws in the state of California that already have a similar system in place but now they're wanting a statewide registry and then to also penalize and give you infractions if you don't register. The bill goes on to state that this bill would require every farm in the state, except those specifically exempted, to be annually registered with the department. The bill would require the registrant to annually pay a fee, as specified, to be deposited into a special fund that is continuously appropriated to the department for the express purpose of carrying out the administration and enforcement of the firearm registry. The bill would require the department to establish and maintain a system for the annual registration of firearms and would require the department to make registration information available to other law enforcement agencies as specified. The bill would require the department to make reasonable efforts to notify firearms dealers, firearms owners, and the general public regarding registration requirements. So that there is the broad sweeping registration system that California aims to now create and put in place where you will have to pay an annual fee to maintain the possession of your firearms. That fee, AKA the tax that you're going to have to pay is then used by the law enforcement agencies and officers and everybody in the state of California and probably new departments to implement this same gun control provision against you. So not only they're going to tax your right, but then they're going to take the, those fees and those taxes and use them against you. And then the bill goes on to make a really interesting statement. It states that this bill would specify that registration shall not be deemed evidence that the registrant is lawfully permitted to own or possess the registered firearm, nor that they are in lawful owner of that firearm. What this means is that the bill will, is identifying and making very clear that they're going to require you to register everything that's in your possession. But the bill states that just because you are registering them, they're not going to assume that you are, in fact, in lawful possession of those. So they're going to have a nice little list of everything that you have, but then they're also not going to just say, okay, well, since you registered, we're just going to assume that you are in lawful possession of them. No, they're probably also going to look into those items that you register. And this bill states this very clearly by saying that this bill would prohibit possession of an unregistered firearm, a violation of which would be punishable as an infraction. So very clearly, they're going to have a registry that they can double check to see if you have an item that is registered or not. So again, it's something that's probably going to be also searchable. Now, what is the infraction for violating this bill? Well, if you violate this bill, there's going to be a hefty $1,000 fine per firearm in your possession. The bill states that commencing on July 1st, 2025, any person who owns, possesses, or has custody or control over any farm subject to registration pursuant to this division that is not currently registered is guilty of an infraction punishable by a fine of $1,000. What they want to do is penalize your possession of lawfully owned firearms to the tune of thousands of dollars just because you don't comply with their unconstitutional registration process. Just because maybe you're in lawful possession of something, but you don't register it under this new law, well, then it's still a violation and you have to pay a fine. Now, you may be asking, what does the registration process look like under this bill? Well, under this bill, we don't really know. The language right now talks about a system that will be set up in the future by the California Department of Justice, and even the fee to register each farm is unknown at this time. The bill states that annual registration shall include the payment of an initial or renewal registration fee in an amount determined by the department. The department shall establish and collect the original and annual renewal fees for firearms registration required by this division. These fees shall not exceed the amount necessary to cover the cost incurred in the administration and enforcement of this division. The department shall annually adjust these fees as necessary. But on top of that, this bill also goes on to state that any person choosing not to register a firearm they own may surrender the firearm to any local law enforcement agency. A firearm surrendered pursuant to this section shall, for purposes of this part, be deemed a nuisance, aka destroyed. So they are trying to say, well, if you don't want to register all these firearms that you lawfully have, you have one other option. It's to forfeit them to law enforcement give up your possession of the farms, and then we will take them off your hands and destroy them. That's how tyrannical this bill is. Now, as I mentioned at the outset of this video, this bill flies directly in the face 
of what the Supreme Court has said in multiple cases, and it also directly violates the Second Amendment. It also violates the most recent 63 decision in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. So that's what's included in this insane new bill, SB 1160, that a lot of you were asking me to cover. This is a statewide firearms registration process and then also a taxation on your possession of every single firearm that you have. What we now need to do is for every gun owner in California to message our representatives and let them know that we oppose this unconstitutional bill. And for those watching in other states, please support us here in California by spreading this video and this news to everyone. Because as we all know, and we've seen many times, this starts in California, things like this starts in California, it's passed in California, but soon it spreads to other states. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I will try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and you would like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. But as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and never forget this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.